Welcome to the audio presentation of Outcomes in Humanitarian Work, A Modest Example of Effectiveness. I'm Dr. Chris Stout. I'm the author of this from LinkedIn and the reader uh, narrator of today's uh, presentation. Uh, please do be sure to look at the show notes for this. There's a variety of links and resources available, and I appreciate you listening to this. There are a few times each year that those of us that run nonprofits need to get our accounting and writer hats on. One annual task is to complete state and federal tax filings. Another is an annual report or review of what's been done and what's coming up in terms of work and projects. Some of these can do double duty as updates to guide star ratings or great nonprofit rankings. As a LinkedIn top voice, I thought it may be efficient to take all that work and additionally make public a piece on our efforts and outcomes, and to perhaps add a dash of inspiration and a big helping of tools and resources that we provide, always free, all the time. Some of what follows is new, and for those of you already familiar with our work, some will hopefully be a helpful refresher. My goals have always been to champion the power of the small project, with a tip of the hat to William Easterly, to reduce the difficulty and friction for those interested and wanting to do something good for others in need, and to open source humanitarian intervention by providing various tools and resources at no cost. In the process of those concomitant actions, the following has evolved. What's new? We're in the midst of signing a Memorandum of, of Understanding with the Psychology Department of Azerbaijan State University of Economics in collaboration with the Consortium for Humanitarian Intervention. We're also proud to announce that we're expanding our research and resource work in psychology and global health advocacy and education now to include aspects of climate change. This will be in support of both the American Psychological Association's work and the World Health Organization's work in this important area globally. I published the following LinkedIn Top Voice articles, The Sting of Moral Clarity, A New Tool for the Humanitarian Emergency Medical Kit, Effective Altruism, Charlie Bressler on How to Amplify Your Impact, and Virtue Washing versus True Altruism, the Rise of Grassroots Philanthropy. And this was actually a uh, Pulitzer Prize nominee for editorial writing. What's not new? We continue to curate and build out a one-of-a-kind free resource in our continuing efforts to open source humanitarian intervention. Our Facebook group continues to grow, feature current events, free training, and resources. Our LinkedIn newsletter, Tools for Change, has grown to more than 150,000 subscribers, and we encourage you to please sign up, and there's links in the notes below for that. Our fellowship and certificate programs and humanitarian intervention continue as well. What's worth repeating is, via this current article, and perhaps it can serve as a periodic meta toolbox, that is, one-stop shopping, a one-stop shopping place where I curate and summarize and provide easy access to the collection of other helpful tools that you can use in your work. So here goes. And also, let me know, please do reach out, of what's missing, and I'll see if I can provide whatever may be of help in future projects or resources. And thanks in advance for letting me know. So written form, long form, uh, is books. We've got the New Humanitarians, volumes one through three, and links for that. And the latest book, um, Why Global Health Matters, which is uh, both are available on Amazon uh, as well as uh, other places where you may buy your books. Uh, the Psychology of Resolving Global Global Con gosh, I can't speak today, sorry, The Psychology of Resolving Global Conflicts from War to Peace that I did with Mary Fitzstuff, a three-volume set. And if you want to check out all of my books, uh, there uh, is a LinkedIn, link, or part of LinkedIn, LinkedIn phase here. There is a link in the um, notes below to go to the Amazon authors page where you can read about all those and reviews and whatnot. 
uh, written short form. Uh, I've got a group of selected LinkedIn top voice articles. I won't read them all off here. You can more easily see them and make a selection below. But the categories are humanitarian relief related. There's a number of them there. More so career related. And quite a few there as well. Science and medicine related. And a number of special editions therein. Climbing related. And then basically TL semicolon didn't DR, too long, didn't read. We're incredibly effective at saving lives at the Center for Global Initiatives. Please uh, see Philanthropy for the Rest of Us, Changing the World for 73 Cents a Life, and When It Only Takes a Few Pennies to Save a Life. Here's what I start asking myself. These are articles with links in LinkedIn. And GiveWell says to directly go to the NGO you're interested in supporting. And we agree. And GiveWell is a great nonprofit to support as well, too. We interviewed some amazing humanitarians and had some great guests on our podcast, Living a Life in, in Full. So be sure to uh, check into those. And there is also a uh, LinkedIn um, uh, top voice um, Sorry about that hiccup, just uh, was getting a call and couldn't multitask it simultaneously. Um, so basically, please do uh, go to the links below and check out our podcast, Living a Life in Full. We drop monthly, um, and it's quite magazine-y, so there's a variety of different kinds of things. But generally, a humanitarian thread uh, goes through most guests and their activities at one level or another. Um, and there is uh, an entire uh, LinkedIn Top Voice playlist with over 200 articles and, and counting uh, that I encourage you to take a look at uh, as well, too. And the, I can't write anything for LinkedIn without having a ton of um, links, hypertext links therein, too. So they'll take you down to some more uh, specific resources. Um, in our repository, the Center for Global Initiatives, we've got a variety of different kinds of things there. We've got a free medical and healthcare guide, Hesperian uh, Digital Commons, Hesperian Health Wiki. Uh, we've got a variety of resources uh, categorized by language. Uh, links to APA's Division 52 on International Research, uh, their database resource, uh, reading collections and peer-reviewed literature, uh, charity how-tos, uh, live and on-demand courses, fundraising and internet tools, helpful travel-related sites, humanitarian missions, airfare discounts, which I'm a big fan of. I've used um, quite a few times in the work that we've done, and a YouTube library of interviews, guest appearances, lectures, and keynote addresses, and more. So now, uh, time to get going. There you have it. I hope this serves as a variation on a theme of what Stuart Brand used to say about the Whole Earth Catalog, in that uh, you now as a reader have access to tools. Please consider putting them to work and let me know if we can be of help. Thanks for listening. <laughs>